A new book is fanning the flames over whether President Trump obstructed justice in the special counsel investigation. The Guardian reports the book's author, Michael Wolff, says Robert Mueller had drawn up an indictment against the president, a three-count indictment. But that's not what Mueller's people say. And this author has been called out like this before. Here's Fox News media analyst and host of Fox's Media Buzz, Howard Kurtz. Michael Wolff is coming out with another book, one whose most inflammatory allegation has already been denied by Robert Mueller's office. The Guardian, which obtained an advanced copy of Siege, Trump Under Fire, says Wolff makes the explosive charge that Mueller drew up a three-count obstruction of justice indictment against Donald Trump before deciding to shelve it. But Mueller spokesman Peter Carr told The Guardian, the documents that you've described do not exist. Wolf was dogged by controversy even before he published his previous blockbuster, Fire and Fury, which was on target in revealing the backstabbing and leaking in the Trump White House. But journalists and politicians pointed out numerous errors, such as saying CNN had published parts of the so-called Steele dossier when it was actually BuzzFeed. The president called Fire and Fury full of lies and said he never spoke to Wolf for the book which the author disputed. I absolutely spoke to the president, whether he realized it was an interview or not. The fact that uh, there was a claim that the president didn't know who John Boehner was is pretty ridiculous. Wolf acknowledged in that book that several sources gave him accounts that were boldly untrue or contradicted each other, but that he published them anyway. In a very different clash over credibility, Ian Bremmer, an NYU professor and Time magazine editor-at-large, tweeted this made-up quote. President Trump in Tokyo, Kim Jong-un is smarter and would make a better president than sleepy Joe Biden. Bremer was reacting to Trump agreeing with the North Korean dictator that Biden has a low IQ and drew this presidential denunciation. This is what's going on in the age of fake news. People think they can say anything and get away with it. Bremer, who had defended the fictitious quote as satire but kind of plausible, now says it was meant in jest. I should have been clearer. My apologies. Such incidents give the president more ammunition to slam the press. Now, Wolf will undoubtedly get enormous publicity for his new anti-Trump book, which in this polarized environment could drown out even a flat denial from Bob Mueller. Brett? Howie, thanks.